I'm preparing for a fight against Kiko Martinez, October 29th at Wembley Arena, defense of my European title, and it's an eliminator for the IBF. So the winner will be probably number two with the IBF. Kiko Martinez, two-time world champion, two-weight world champion, won the European title numerous times, been in with the sport's biggest names, Gary Russell Jr., Leo Santa Cruz, uh, Carl Frampton, he's experienced, he's tough, he's rugged and he's going to come to bring it. After my last fight, I had my hand operated on and within a couple of weeks I was back in the gym doing all the rehab stuff for my knee injury, for my hand injury. It's been a long, long process but I feel like we've built ourselves up into a good place. The rehab's gone smoothly, my body's working well again and uh, I feel fit and strong and raring to go. I've been doing a lot of mobility work, you know, stretching the forearms, improving the range, building and, and pushing it to a point where, you know, it's moving. And, and flexing the way that it should be. I've been doing a lot of grip work with a lot of forearm work, whether that's in the sand pit, whether that's you know building up the muscles that are connected hand, which is the forearm, the bicep. I've been doing a lot of BFR, blood flow restriction training. We're getting time under tension and, and making sure that the muscles are strengthening the way they should be. Bit by bit, we've been doing shorter intervals, a lot of lactate uh, work, and now we're in the tent because I'm, I'm too fit to, uh, to do it out of the tent. The tent is horrible. It's, it's the best and the worst thing because you know you need it to, to improve their fitness levels. When you're that fit and you, you're training so hard outside of the SNC side of things, you know, in the boxing, we're doing a lot around sparring and stuff like that. You can only do so much, and we're only human. To be able to take the impacts out of your legs, but still put in, you know, the stress on your heart, the stress on your lungs, you know, it's fantastic. You know, we're seeing some great results. I'm actually fitter inside the tent now than I ever have been outside the tent. So, you know, the, the results speak for themselves. It's crazy because obviously I'm I'm a big boxing fan. So I keep an eye on like what's going around around boxing and obviously knew of Jordan Gill. And the first time I saw Jordan, I was like, wow, this guy, this guy is an animal. Just trains so hard. I want to train like him. It was one of those fights where everything went wrong at once. You know, I had so much pressure in go going into the fight. I had to win that fight. Um, I had to be in that fight. I'd been messing around with a mandatory position for a long time. Uh, the closer it got to the fight, I actually got injured. That's when the knee went. I had my hand operation booked in for after the original fight and we had to put that back so I had a bad hand, a bad knee a week or so before the, the fight, a perfect me eardrum and obviously it went again in the fight. Yeah, I got DDT'd pretty early on in the fight actually and uh, you know, it was, it was one of them things where you just have to survive. I was, you know, blocking and, and countering off the ropes, uh, picking some good body shots out and I could see uh, Gurfi sagging and I, I saw my opportunity for a right hand and, and I took it and that was it. I've become European champion in, in, in dramatic fashion. Then he came out in the first round he was getting caught with a few shots and I was like this is not Jordan because Jordan's very elusive and then when he pulled off that that shot that ended the show it's something we work on in the gym but also all his hard work all of his commitment was in that right hand when you tell people you're fighting Kiko Martinez look at you as though you're mad I'm under no illusions that it's an easy fight I am you know six months ago he was world champion if I'd have boxed him in February it would be for the world title so these are the challenges that we want um, nobody wants to see him in easy fights everybody wants to see drama everybody wants to see you know big fights and this is what you get into boxing for you you, you want these challenges and if I beat a guy like Kiko Martinez I can put my name at world level and I can, I can be comfortable going into these world title fights knowing that I'm at that level because you know he's top 10 in the ring magazine um, it's a fight where you're going to see the best of me and the fight where I'm going to perform. I'm looking forward to retaining the European title and, and moving one step closer to a world title.